Hi guys, welcome to Heart Light Tarot and Astrology. This is going to be New Moon in Aquarius and a remainder of February reading for the sign of Libra. This is not a personal reading. If you're interested, if you are interested in a personal reading, let me know in the comment box below. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I work with energies of the tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? So a little bit of astrology for you guys, since I can't think about what else I wanted to say, I'll just hop right into it. Um, a little bit of astrology I've already shuffled for you guys is um, this new moon in Aquarius. It is going to be happening in your fifth house of passions, creativity, ro short, short term romance, um, love affairs, flings, um, your attitude with your inner child, the way you experience joy. Okay. And there's a lot of planets in that house okay in your fifth house of passions and all those things that i mentioned so the sun is in there because it is aquarius season so it's in there um and the sun is all about you know you know keeping things the same passion loyalty commitments to you know one maybe a couple things in their life right that's what the sun is ruled by leo and um so that's an in aquarius which is this opposite sign it's polarity in the sign of passion and creativity um, the new moon is in there too. It's next to the sun, which creates a new moon. It's a conjunct the sun. And when they're together, close together, they are, um, they create a new moon. But I also mentioned the end of January's readings. If you haven't check it out, I mentioned Pluto entering Aquarius on January 20th. When Pluto entered Aquarius, the last time it entered Aquarius was when the American revolution was happening. So I feel like with Pluto being in Aquarius, um, collectively as a as you know in the world, I feel like we might be seeing a lot of movements, peace movements. We the people, um, you know, uh, corporations really, you know, maybe even falling and changing because Pluto is also in this house of Aquarius as well, just to kind of break down systems that are only meant for leaders and broken down and re re um remade redone to be for the people okay um so pluto's in your fifth house it's completely transforming your passions um you know you might be involved in some kind of love affair um that really changes you or um your inner child could be changing right um You know, your inner child is the house of children as well. So your, you know, your, your relationship with your children could be changing with Pluto there. And Mercury is in there, the planet of communication and technology and forward. And, you know, Aquarius is forward thinking. Um, um, it rules science and electricity. So maybe um, one of your passions is, you know, science now or um, AI things are really catching your eye right technology might be becoming a new passion of yours um libra that's the one thing i wanted to say this this reading is more for libra risings because it does um it does represent everything in your life if you are a libra son this is going to be geared more towards your um career and fatherly figures okay considering it is opposing your 10th house or your 11th house of, you know, public reputation, clubs, organizations, and stuff like that. One of your new passions can be, you know, an AI project with um, people from your company at work, or creating one for them, creating more of uh, maybe an, a new app for, you know, your job and for, you know, the people that you hang out with, you know, your friendship groups, clubs, organizations, stuff like that. Okay. And, um, all right, so I've already brought out some cards. Let me continue with your clarifiers. Your current energy is Six of Swords, Air Energy. You are a Libra. That could be you moving on, you know, away from things that don't serve you anymore. You know, oh, moving past choppy waters into smooth waters, right? This gentleman, he's rowing his wife and child away from the rough, rough waters into new waters. They don't know exactly what they're entitled to 
or what they are um, going to come across, but they know that it's better than the past. Okay, so maybe you're moving on uh, mentally from somebody or something in your life. And I see that it's clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. What the Ace of Pentacles is telling me you're moving past a new financial stability, um, a new way of doing your finances. It's um, It could be some kind of investing, um, maybe something that has to do with your foundations. It's been ten, pen, pentacles. Wow. Pentacles are um, related to your foundation. So maybe a new home um, where, you know, trying to move where, you know, your foundation is more solid. In your recent past, you have the Two of Swords, and it's with the Knight of Wands. Um, I feel like you, ne you needed to make a decision, okay? And you needed to use your intuition and your emotions to, to make that decision. But for a while, you didn't want to make that decision because you were scared of what might happen, possibly. Or you weren't ready for what would happen. I felt like maybe you wanted to run away with the Knight of Wands here. Um, get really far away and only do what's fun. You didn't want to make some kind of choice, okay? But I feel like you made the choice, and you made the choice to move on from something, okay? Maybe you are, you are physically moving. Coming up in your, your upcoming future, you have the Four of Wands, and it's clarified with the Ten of Cups. So the Four of Wands, um, foundation, marriage, long-term relationships, all right? It also shows you 11-11 being in complete alignment, um, you know, your ancestors are blessing you okay so you're going to definitely be you're making the right choice here libra you're going to be either getting married um planning a wedding and uh, getting engaged buying a new home being happier in that new home um just feeling that the ground under you is as solid as it can be okay and that you're only going up from here all right so with the ten of cups clarifying the four of wands i mean that's beautiful energy that's like the ultimate happiness almost i mean the ten of cups is ultimate ultimate emotional fulfillment ultimate um happiness you know being able to use your wisdom and um, intuition very naturally okay and it's going to get you it's going to get you places with this four of wands here it's going to really um lay the groundwork for a solid foundation for you Okay, I'm going to get you guys an Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle card. You guys got, when peace is your priority, negativity cannot exist. How can you see through the eyes of source, energy, and prioritize your inner peace? So you're being called to... I feel like you're on the right track, though, with the Six of Swords. I feel like you're being called to really connect with what brings you peace. Okay, um, I feel like you're going to be really prioritizing only positive energy and maybe that's spending time with just you. Okay, and really connecting to yourself and what it is that you want. Okay, and that's going to, you know, really benefit you in the long run, long run, long run. I don't know what that means. I'm going to read about it really quickly for you. If I can find it. In all situations, we have an option to see the dark or the light, to embrace fear or walk in love. This is a reminder that peace lives in every moment, and when you make it a priority, it, it's just going to stick. There are two sides within everything, light and dark. But when we choose love, all is in balance. Don't run from your darkness. Simply invite in more light. When peace is your priority, you become a way shower, an example of what's possible when you align with divine love. If I remember your last readings correctly, Libra, I really do feel like you're stepping into some kind of like way shower mode or um, a teacher mode and people are really learning from you. And I feel like once you become one with your inner peace and you move past things that just don't, you know, bring you that foundation that you're looking for, you're going to be, you know, met with a lot of um, foundational happiness. Okay. Um, with that being said, don't miss your guys' Valentine's Day reading. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Take care, Libra.